Good morning, Randolph kids. Good morning from my home in Ledyard, Connecticut. I had an email exchange with Josh, and I said I wanted to stay in touch more while you are at home. And he suggested that what you need is a little sody, sody, sody saleratus. Oh, but you must sing along. Sody, sody, sody saleratus. Once there was a little boy, a little girl, a little old man, a little old lady, and their pet squirrel. And one day that old man woke up with a hunger, a hankering, a need for some pancakes. And he just started talking about those pancakes. You know how pancakes come out of the griddle, right off the griddle. They're golden brown and steamy. Mm -mm -mm. They smell so good. When you put the butter on it, why that butter just melts right in. You pour a little homemade maple syrup on the top. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, he kept talking and talking, and finally that old lady said, All right, all right already. I'll go make you some pancakes. Just stop talking about it. Well, that little old lady put on her apron. She walked into her kitchen. She reached way up high on the highest shelf and pulled down the big mixing bowl, the one with the crack down the side of it from all the batches and batches of biscuits she'd baked. She found her mixing spoon, measuring cups, the flour, a little sugar, some butter. Then she started looking. Where is it? She opened one drawer. Where's my sody saleratus? She opened another drawer. <laughs> Where's my Sody Saleratus? She looked low, she looked high. Everywhere she looked, there was no Sody Saleratus. You, you little boy, you gotta come over here. You go down to the store and you tell that shopkeeper, I need some Sody Saleratus. Now don't you be forgetting what you're going after. Well, that little boy, he didn't wanna forget what he was going after. He wanted pancakes just as much as anybody. So all the way to the store, he sang like this. Sody, sody, sody saleratus. Sing along. There you go. Well, he walked through the path, all through the woods, across the bridge. He got to the road. He crossed the road carefully. And then he opened the shop door and inside was the most wonderful sight. There was the shopkeeper wearing a beautiful white apron tied tight around his back. Behind him there was shelf after shelf filled with the most wonderful things. Penny candies, licorice and butterscotch. And over in one section there were all the baking things. The little boy said, I come for a poke of sody saleratus if you please, sir. Oh, I know what your mama's up to, he said. She's going to make her famous pancakes. Yes, he said. All right, now. He filled a little bag, that's a poke, with sody saleratus, tied it up tight, and put it in the boy's pocket. And he said, now, don't you be forgetting what you're going after. Go straight home. No playing by the side of the road. I know your mother. She wants her sody saleratus. She wants her pancakes. Yes, sir, he said, and he wasn't going to be forgetting what he was going after. So he sang all the way back home. Sody, sody, that's right, sody saleratus. Sody, sody, sody saleratus. Well, he was doing fine until his feet went a pit a pat, pit a pat, pit a pat, pit a pat, and across that old bridge. Oh, underneath the bridge. There is a very sleepy bear. <laughs> he woke that bear up with his pit of pat and, and he was grumpy. Well, he reached out and he picked up that boy by the back of the collar and dangled him right up there in the air. And he looked at him and he said, 
What's all this nonsense about Sodi Saleratus? You woke me up from a good sleep, and for that, I'm going to swallow you whole. And oh, that's just what he did. Well, now, back at the house, that old lady, she was waiting and waiting for her Sodi Saleratus. She was waiting and wanting and thinking about it, and she was fuming. She said, you, you little girl, you go down to that store, you find that brother of yours, you bring him on back here with the Sodi Saleratus. I want my pancakes. Yes, am she said. And so that little girl went out the door, she walked through the woods, across the same bridge, all the way she sang, sing with me, and the bells. Sodi, Sodi, Sodi Salvators, Sodi, Sodi, Sodi Salvators. Well, she got to the store, she opened that door, and I thought that the shopkeeper's eyes were gonna pop right out of his head when he saw that little girl standing there. Little girl, what are you doing here? I come for the Sodi Saleratus, she said. But your brother was here. I gave him the Sodi Saleratus. I put a little poke right in his pocket. You better go find him. He must be playing by the side of the road. Well, that little girl, she started looking this way. You better help her, and that way and this way and that way and the whole time she's singing to herself Sody, Sody, Sody Saleratus she got to that old bridge and her feet were pit-a-patting, pit-a-patting, pit-a-patting across that bridge while she was singing and looking and <gasps> woke that bear up from his sleep he snatched the girl up by the dress and hung her up there in the air and took a good look at her <gasps> what is all this nonsense about Sody Saleratus you woke me up from a good sleep and for that I'm gonna swallow you whole and that's exactly what he did he'd swallowed a little boy and now he swallowed a little girl well back at the house that old lady why the steam was starting to rise up off her head why I thought her head was gonna spin round in circles you old man you started this nonsense you and all your talk about pancakes. You go on down to the store. You find those young ones. You bring them back here. I want my pancakes. I want my Sodi Saleratus. Did I tell you how old that man really is? Why, he is so old that when he walks, he creaks and cracks and creaks. And when he talks, well, all the way down to the store, it sounded something like this. So, so, you better help him. So, just like that, he walked through the woods and over the bridge. He walked to the road and he crossed the road. He got to the door of the store and he started to open it. You could hear it creak. Whoa. When he walked in the door, what I thought the shopkeeper was going to lose his teeth, he was so frightened. Oh, man, he said, what are you doing here? That little boy of yours was here first thing this morning. He got the Sodi Saleratus. Then your girl came looking for the Sodi Saleratus. I sent him to find the boy, her to find the boy. And now you're here. Ah. cakes he said well he turned on his heels as fast as he could and started looking for the boy and the girl he looked this way oh you gotta help him and 
that way and this way and <sighs> by and by and it was a long time by and by he got to that bridge he was singing so so oh. well of course he woke up that bear <sighs> a bear get any sleep around here I swallowed a little boy and his oh, terrible terrible tasting soda saleratus I swallowed a little girl he reached out and picked up that old man and he said oh now old man I gotta swallow you too and one two three oh, he swallowed them whole well back at the house that old woman was human. You could see the sparks flying out of her eyes. She tore off her apron, she threw it on the counter, and she said, if you want something done right, you best go do it yourself. So she threw the door wide open, and she started for the store. And that old lady, she did not sing as she went. She knew what she was about. She was getting her soda saleratus. She was getting her pancakes. Well, she got to the store and she flung that door open so fast, it didn't even have time to creak. Now, that shopkeeper, he took one look at her. I thought his head was gonna fall off. Old lady, he said, what on earth are you doing here? I want my soda saleratus, she said. But old lady, I gave it to the little boy. She didn't wait to hear another word. That woman turned around on her heels and she started looking this way and that way. That was youngins playing by the side of the road. She didn't see them. But when she got to the bridge, she woke up that old bear. He reached over, he picked up that old lady by the back of the dress and he dangled her up there. He said, can a bear? get any sleep around here I swallowed a little boy and that nasty nasty taste in soda saleratus I swallowed a little girl I swallowed an old man and that old lady well he did it he all swallowed her whole now back at the house there was just one pet left that little squirrel whose tail was twitching back and forth. He was pacing and pacing along the floor. Pit-a-pat, 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 pit a pat pit a pat pit a pat He jumped up on the table, which he'd never done before, leapt over to the windowsill. He started looking this way and that way with his little tail going, pit a pat pit a He jumped down, he took his paw and he put it in the door and pushed it open. He was a good little squirrel, but he couldn't wait any longer. He started running down through the woods, over the bridge, the whole time his little feet going, pit pat, pit pat, pit pat, pit pat, his little tail going, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. When he got to the store, he put his paw in there, he eased the door open. And that shopkeeper, why, I don't think he knew what to do. But all of a sudden, that squirrel started talking. <laughs> Lucky for him, the shopkeeper spoke perfect squirrel. And so they had this little conversation back and forth. And the squirrel knew what to do. He turned around and he started looking. His little paw up in the air looking this way, that way, this way, that way. His little tail going flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. His little feet going pitty-pat, 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 pitty-pat. And when he got to the bridge, he woke up that old bear. Not again, a bear can't get any sleep around here. And this time, when he opened his eyes, he saw he had a squirrel. What are you doing here waking me up? And he was about to swallow him whole when that little squirrel shook himself so hard, he left a tiny piece of tail in the paw of that bear, but he leapt way up there into that branch. Why, when the bear saw that little squirrel up there, he started to laugh. He said, look at that itty-bitty squirrel with those itty-bitty paws. 
he's up there. Why, me with my great big paws, I'll get there too. So he started to climb with the boy and the girl and the old lady in his belly and the old man. He climbed and he climbed and he was just about to reach that squirrel. And that squirrel went and jumped up to the teeny, 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 teeny thin branch way up there. Well, that bear started to laugh again. He said, oh, look at that squirrel with those itty bitty paws. Me with my great big paws, I'll get him. And so up he went and up he went and he was just about to reach that squirrel when that squirrel jumped and that bear landed on the branch. The branch cracked and broke and fell to the ground, but that squirrel was safe in the tree. Well, that bear hit the ground and it split him wide open. Out popped the old lady, out popped the old man, out popped the little boy, out popped the little girl. That old lady did the thing that little old ladies do. She reached into her pocket of her dress and she pulled out a needle and thread and she stitched that bear right up and he waddled on off into the woods. We haven't seen much of him again. Then she turned to the boy. You, little boy, where's my sody saleratus? She reached right into his pocket and took it. And she and that squirrel, they took off lickety split to the house. By the time the old man, the little boy, and the little girl made it back to the house, you can smell those pancakes rising on the griddle. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pancakes on the griddle, gonna watch them rise. Pancakes on the griddle, gonna watch them rise. Pancakes on the griddle, gonna watch them rise. Right before my very eyes. When they get ready, gonna jump, shout. When they get ready, gonna jump, shout. When they get ready, gonna jump and shout. Open my eyes, open my mouth, yeah. Well, you know what? That old man saw those pancakes coming off the griddle. The old lady was putting them on a plate. And he reached over to grab himself one. And she smacked his hands and said, you get out of there. The first pancake goes to the, you know, squirrel. And you know that day, that squirrel ate seven whole pancakes. And those were pancakes made with, you know this too, sody, sody, sody salvatus. Thanks for letting me tell you a story. I hope to come visit you again. Bye.